All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 25 for today. In the last episode, we had some of the best teammates we've seen in the Road to SSL so far. We're sitting at Champ 2, Division 1 in 3v3, and of course, Grand Champion 1, Division 2 in 2v2. So we're getting quite close to SSL in 2s, but we're still quite off the mark in 3v3. But before we get into the episode, we have to the meme of the day, and today we have Derby City with Danny Flotus. This one turned out so good. Danny, you're looking great, man. Are you working out? Actually, I know you do work out, so you always look good. On to the episode. All right, we got twos. We have Smoke on our team, who's sitting at the basically the same MR. Actually, everyone in this lobby is pretty much the exact same. We got a sem semi-speed flip, which is sort of like a corner flip. I've got space in this ball to, to keep controlled here. I see him very, very much boosting towards the ball there. Pretty, uh, pretty obviously going to challenge. So I'm going to play the 50 and hopefully try to feed it to my teammate. Decent try from Smoke. My teammate's very low now. It looks like he's... Oh, that's a really great shot. Holy... That was a very fast shot. I don't think I could have expected that out of the corner there. Because not, not a lot of people like throw that out, out there off of that control. That was a great shot from him. Definitely not expecting that in, in Grand Champ 1. But if you just if you expect that shot to come out, then you just back off, obviously. You got space here to go for a shot. Let's see what Aki does. Try and bump this other guy. Should be smoke to get on this ball. Good try. I really should be following that up. Even though this guy's like under the ball, I could follow that up. Pop this up nice and high. It's gonna be awkward for Zippa next, but he should have it in the corner here. Hopefully my teammate can turn on this. We have an awkward turn. Should give the ball back, but does get a good clear. I'm gonna try and push up on this with speed. See what this guy does. At this point, he's gonna be in the air, so I'm just gonna let my teammate go for it and cut it off. He's gonna try and follow us up immediately. He actually fakes and misses. This guy also misses. Flick over one. And then a pop off the backboard. Should be really awkward for my teammate to follow. He's pretty far back, though. It's okay. Like, it can definitely be a fine play to be making to stay back in case they get some clears. But that wasn't too dangerous a situation. Good control from Smoke here in the corner. I want to jump off this off this backboard as soon as possible. It does go off the backboard, though. Grab this boost. That should be space here for me. This guy is very low boost. So we know that they're going to be in a, a tough situation. Get the demo here. Try and bump this guy. Hopefully, give me a shot. Good try. It's going to be a tight angle for this guy, but he might be able to finish it. Yeah. We got to be a little bit faster off of the offense there. Like, Smoke could have made a play over them when that ball spilled to him. You can see he's played pretty, pretty slow on that ball, though. So looks like we're going to have to pick up the pace a little bit. Okay, once I see Smoke backing off into that corner boost, I have to get the other corner boost. Or I can play the mid, but it doesn't look like they're really playing that fast off the touches. A okay, big clear. I don't mind Zibinex going for this. This is going to be a free ball for us. Pop it across. AK can't get to this. Now it's up off the backboard. He's going for a shot here. Not the greatest shot, though. I'm going to cut this off immediately. Just get in the way a little bit. Let's see if Smoke can get on this ball. Do demo their back, man. Hopefully he can go for the follow-up here. I'll let him go for this. Looks like AK's going to cut it off, though. I have space to bring this around the one player. I'm going to go for a flick here. Probably top left. And there's the goal. We have a lot of control there. A lot of space. Because we have uh, the knowledge that Aki's going to be out of the game. And he's definitely the better player out of the two on the other, other team. He's definitely been the more consistent one. We just got to make sure we stay like aware of positioning on opponents and stuff. Like, right here, we're looking for Zipanix, not this Aki guy. At that point, we already know that like Aki's out of the game. And he's going to try and chase that ball down. But I'm watching the other player, what he's doing. And the reason why I went for a shot here is because I see him driving off the mark on the line of the goal. I just go for the shot on target. You got to like constantly monitor yourself and like monitor where you are compared to the opponents, what the opponents are doing. I'm going to wait for this flip. Now I have space in this ball to control it. Now I know Aki's probably not going to go on this ball um, because he's last man. I see it's pretty dangerous for him. But Smoke should be here on this next touch. Good rotations. I'll try and pop this off the backboard first, then fake this. See if Smoke can finish it. Nice. You can see how, see how dangerous that looks for them, right? I pop it off behind Zipanix, and then he actually tries to go for it as well. I just fake the ball, and then we uh, get a free goal. I'm going to try and pop this around him or dribble around him. I actually missed the ball, and we get scored on. <laughs> I'm about to do a, like a really tight drift, and you can see that's really risky there because we are going to get scored on if I miss it. I was trying to drift that around uh, the one guy. I didn't want to just 50 it into him because he's still landing behind the ball. It should be okay, though. We're gonna get this boost stolen. Actually, Aki decides not to go for it, which gives us free boost. And now Aki's very, very low, and Zipanix is awkward. So this should be a good chance for us. Aki got that boost, though. I'm gonna try and pop this over him. That was 50 to the back, though. 
I don't think they can get to it. Teammate doesn't really need to panic here. Actually, it might just work out for us. What I'm going to try and do here is try and stop one of them, try and bump them or something. Oh, a bit of a rush. We had so much time there. We get behind my teammate here. He's making me bait first. As long as he doesn't panic, we should be comfortable here. Nice. Try and 50 over this guy. This guy's last man, so it's a little dangerous for a 50 50 from him. Can he get the double? This guy backflips, though. Go for the shot. Should we save? Smoke got the corner boost, so he should have space. Hit that ball a little bit too strong off the backboards. You can see he couldn't really follow it up himself. Be really careful with how much power you give those touches. Let him throw this ball out or control it. Go for 50. He's going to be back to Zipanix, though. I like that smoke left that ball for me or boost. It's a good try. Aki's kind of missing. A little bit of panic. We got this boost from him. I'm just trying to watch where smoke's going here. What's, it, what's he's trying to do here? He's going to try and get a 50 here. Stop the ball. Can't really follow it up yet. Now I can follow it up. Okay, a little awkward. I should have let my teammate go for that at that point. Like, it definitely is my ball to go for. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm just going to stay close to this so he panics. Put this off the backboard. There we go. I'm bumped a little bit, but hopefully shouldn't be too dangerous. I'll jump for my teammate here. Looks like he's... Oh, okay, he did go. Got an achievement. Might be a goal here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. My teammate should have definitely let me take that ball off the backboard. Saying what a save. Yeah, he shouldn't also not flip to that back corner boost. Both things were very poor from him. Like, he should let me control that ball or go for the, the challenge for him because he's off the backboard and it's really awkward. Decent 50, though. Can he get it? Good save. Go for a flick here. Over one. Off backboard. See if my teammate can finish it. Come on, smoke. Unlucky. <laughs> Good game, though. Uh, I definitely don't think Smoke was in the best positions a lot of the time. Not making the best choices. But we do Division Down and Division 1. I was just saying how we had really good teammates the last series, or the last episode. And I didn't feel like I could really rotate with this guy too well. He was also, like, double committing with me a lot. Just a lot of, like, panic in certain spots where we had time on the ball. And didn't really make the best choices. Either way, let's move on to the next game and see how it goes. We got 2v2 again. I think in GC1, at the end of the game there, when I double beat both players, there really shouldn't be no reason why that isn't a goal. I know it's like, it is a tough shot at zero seconds. Can't let the ball hit the ground. But I definitely think that like in that position, that should be a scorable opportunity every time. I didn't even see my teammate go for it. It's zero seconds. You got to do something. It's totally fine if he demos me. Good control. Nobody going here. Like, I don't need to go. See, I, like that could have been a panic. I could have like rushed this. Don't need to. There's nobody there. I'm going to go for this other side. This guy already seems to be pretty demo heavy, so we got to be a little bit careful of this uh, mechanical pencil guy. Good 50. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Double corner, top left, top right. <laughs> he definitely could have, he could have, like, not panicked as much and waited around uh, the back corner. But either way, I, I'm being noticed. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to just try and like play this this 50 normal here. There we go. Now, I could go for mechanical play, see, but this guy backs off around him here. Let me take corner control. Try and force 50s. Okay, I can't really go on this, and Marky's getting pretty low here. So I'm just trying to stay close enough to shadow. I did take the boost from Marky, but I can save with this ball, no problem. Pop this around this one guy. Get a pop forward. That's really good fake from Mechanical Pencil. And there we go. Just follow it up a little bit. Marky's got lots of time, lots of boost. Decent try on the control. Does lose control a little bit, but I like the idea. This guy's going to cut it off, which is totally fine. Not scared of him really fitting that, as long as I keep myself like pretty strong in the corner. I'm going to pop this around this guy over him. Get a lot of power on this. See if Mark can get on this ball. To be him. I'm going to go for this for him, but it's a little bit scary because I am, like, going to be 50 50 somebody. A decent shot. Pick up a couple pads. Nice cut here. Go for the 50. Oh, this guy, Mechanical Pencil, did not want to go. Me and Marky are getting pretty decent, um, consistent pressure. And the reason why we're doing that is we're picking up nice pads here. You can see he just picked up a pad there. Didn't have to go all the way back corner. He's following up the next touch. 
Just a constant rotation in and out. And and the way that you do that is, is also not wasting too much boost. Because if you do waste enough boost, um, then you end up um, putting yourself in a really bad position where you have to back off a lot. That's a little bit dangerous here. Hit this off the backward. Hopefully he can follow us up. That's a really great position. I like that he didn't go for the corner boost. He followed me up off that backward touch. Now we're just going to wait for Yagi. See if he makes the touch. He does make the touch. Mark is not behind me. It's totally fine. This guy misses though. Pop off the wall. The Marky is pretty far right now, so I'm just going to get behind him here. There's no reason for me to really make a challenge or force anything if my teammate's not going to be able to follow the touch-up anyway. So this is going to be a great shot if he scores it. Off the backboard here. Good follow from Marky. We do lose possession a little bit there because Yag could probably turn on this. Good control. Can't really go on this yet. I'm going to wait on this touch. I'm going to try and stall this ball out a little bit just to make it a little awkward. Marky can go on this now, which is great. Good turn. Good try on the shot. Now, Marky is low boost, and I am alone for quite a while. So, i got to be a little bit careful. It's going to be a great flick. Wait for the touch. Hit off the backboard hard. Wait for Yagi here. I am last, man. He could get another touch, though. So, be a little bit careful. And as players get better, you're going to see that people are going to be going for those bumps more often off those air dribbles. I don't mind that touch at all because Marky gets a free ball. It's just give, a, give away a possession right back to the opponent. Or right back to, well, it is to their opponent, anyway. Get behind here, see if my team wants to challenge. Doesn't look like he's that comfortable, so I'm just gonna hit it off to the side here. They miss. Hit this softly so I can keep control. And I'm gonna hit this to the right side to my teammate. And there we go. You see how dangerous it is after I have this soft touch here? I keep myself like in con close control. He has to cover everything in the net. I can chip that towards the net anywhere, and he knows that. So he's gonna maybe play the um uh he's maybe gonna play the shot. So I'm just gonna pop it around him, give my teammate a free open goal. Mechanical's not touching this next, so now Marky has space. He can even leave that for me if he wants, because he's low boost, but that's totally fine. Good 50. Let's get the corner boost. Let him uh, force for me. Big, a bit of a miss. I think they missed as well, though. Oh, it's off the corner. Nice. Try to pop this over this guy. That's really good patience from him. Now my teammate can turn. I'm going to go for this while the guy bumps him. Off corner. And there we go. Good rotation. It's gonna bounce up off the backboard here. I could definitely go for this, but he's going for it. Might have overcommitted too. So that's that's why you can't really do that. You can't push up there, like unless you're gonna full force it. But it's it's such an awkward bounce because it is close enough to mechanical uh, to not go there. That was a mistake by me just just to push up a little bit too much. Pop this up a little bit, then get the back corner boost. Now I have space here. You see, it was pretty heavy touch. And Marky's gonna be low here. Good touch. Bumping this guy. This boost should spawn for him in a second. There it is. Now we should be able to go on this. Now we're seeing already that like the players are getting better. So I can't really be playing too patiently, too slowly. I got to pick up the pace a little bit. It's, it's definitely catching me off guard. I'm also noticing that because of the, the, the pace that I'm playing at sometimes in the road to SSL, I'm putting myself in like a really bad spot in my games. Because it's not really like good to play that slowly um, when players are getting faster. It's good to play patiently in certain situations, but not all the time. Decent double 50. It's a pinch over. I'm going to grab this boost and then just see what they do with this touch. Hit this behind him. You can see they're going to follow up immediately. It's totally fine. He's a little boost here. So pop this up. Pop it towards the net. Might be too strong. And there we go. Simple double jump. Once you have like a little momentum on the ball and you double do a double jump into the ball right here, like it's so fast, it can go faster than players can move supersonic. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, anyway, we got, we got Division 2 back again, so hopefully we can move up a little bit more. I, once we get to SSL and 2v2, we're gonna be, um, we're gonna be moving on to, um, um, we're gonna be moving on to, uh, 3v3 only. So, oh, hello, Star Wars. What is it? More cars? Cool. We're moving on to just 3v3, so we'll, we'll definitely be seeing more 3v3 at the end of this series. Um, and I don't know if you guys want me to play more 2v2 along with the 3v3. We definitely can. Just keep it queuing. Let me know what you guys want to see. Because I don't mind playing like low level uh, SSL um, to like sort of talk about like how to continue and move through SSL. Because the, the upper echelon of SSL is a very different game compared to 2v2. But I don't want to just continue playing on this account like forever. So <laughs> uh, once uh, 3v3 makes SSL, I definitely probably will be stopping playing on this account. But... 
Either way, let's get into the third game and see what we get. We got 3v3. We got a team of three. Poggers, FC on the other team. I'm going to move back corner here. Do a bit of a half flip. See if uh, XR King can get on this ball. He does miss. Try and follow this touch up, though. Maybe into him. Expulsion will get a clear here. Does miss, though. Don't really need to get this back corner boost. You can't just stay present with your team. What is happening on this goal line? <laughs> what just happened? I'm going to shift this around this guy. It's open net. And there's the open net. Dude, what just happened? <laughs> just get up. I cannot believe I need to save the replay and just look at that situation. We got a, a decent chip around that one player challenging, and for some reason no one was in the net after that jumble in the net there. This is my first games of Rocket League in like two days, so I apologize if I'm a little rusty, but I am also like playing slower than I probably need to at certain ranks. This is definitely gonna be a beat here. I definitely shouldn't be jumping. Players are going for it. I could maybe I should be jumping, getting in the way. Could be a decent shot opportunity. It's fine. Go for a flick over this guy. You see how good flicks are just to get like people out of the game. But you usually will give away possession if you just flick the ball away like that. I'm going to go for this, for this guy. I thought this guy was going to challenge, but they both backed off. Go for a 50 on this guy. He definitely definitely could have like not not went with my teammate following up the second touch, but luckily he didn't have any much boost, so didn't know if he was going to waste it on that touch. A good shot. Top corner and nobody is defending. All right, interesting 3v3 game so far. Really good control from right quip here, especially with low boost. He had like maybe 40 there. I just used that, that amount off the wall. I'm not sure why um, they weren't ready for that in the net there. For a decent 50. Teammates are getting good possession. Should we king to follow this? Decent clear over the last player. Kid Cody was a little bit too pushed forward. Oh, big misses. Let my teammate go here. He should cut this. And it's open. Man, what is happening with Poggers FC, man? I have no idea what's happening. It was a really good catch, but Marquito also tried to jump as last man when the ball was moving away from him. So the ball was just stolen by uh, right quip. Decent 50. I'll jump up for this. Try and get in the way of this. Just hit off the backboard. I'm not expecting my teammates to really be in a great position for this touch, but because it's like off the kickoff, but we get another goal off that little pop. I didn't expect that to be a goal either. <laughs> um, interesting. I did cut the rotation here just to pop it up and the right quick was ready for it. Looks like King was also going to score either way. But yeah, we are, uh, we're kind of um, working well here together as a team of three. Should my teammate to cut this off? I'm going to hit this off the sidewall here. Pretty high. See my teammate can follow it. Good try. I'll cut this off off the side. Follow it again here. Hit it off the backboard. Good touch from them. I'm going to move behind my teammates so we can move in comfortably. I got a potential clear. Good cut off by Marquito though. Now, Kid Cody is last man, so he might touch it here. Good. I like that my teammate didn't just hit that ball back. Like he saw my, I was pretty close to that touch. Decent try. So King's off of this touch here. It's gonna be forward. See if he wants to cut this off. And I can cut this off right here. My teammate does turn on it again, but that was definitely a decent opportunity for me to turn off of his pass. I see King is low boost, but he does get a pop across the net. Can't really follow this up yet. Teammate's very, very low. He's trying to make a touch, but doesn't really have a good position on this ball. I should beat them here if I go off the backboard. If I try to go for a shot on target there, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to go for that ball and get around the ball to get a shot on target. Meanwhile, I can just hit it out nicely off the backboard. We got a shot towards target again. This is a, 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 a runaway game. And my teammates are honestly doing a lot here. That's gonna be the third game. Very, very quick one. Well played. Let's see if we get another threes game. We did indeed get another threes game. Uh, we got match player and Victor Lee. We got two duos who are queued up. So we got like solo queues on both teams. This is the guy who's solo. It's a good pop. Should be one of my teammates to follow this. And I can follow this for him. He's wasting a lot of boosts off a touch that he really can't do much with the follow up. And and like if I was a better player in this in this lobby, then I would definitely go for like a, uh, a backboard double touch there. I had enough boost to follow it up. 
decent space here. Nobody's really f filling the midfield for the blue team. It's a good pop. Should my teammate to follow. Off the backboard. Should be a shot opportunity. And there we go. You can see I can really use um, my flip to my advantage to get a lot of power there. That was a really good pop back from match player and a really good backboard uh, touch there. Doesn't need to try and go for the shot himself because there's still someone in net. So the more you can draw out, the better. And it just gives us, a, gives us a pretty free goal. He also got a bump afterwards. So it's just all around good play. I'm going to go back corner here. Both my teammates are decent boost. I love this boost update, by the way. It's it's so good to like just know what the situation is for your teammates, what they're intending to do. Are they going to stick around with low boost? Are they going to back off? Going to beat here. That's totally fine, though. My teammate has a decent boost amount. He gets that corner, too. Off the backboard. Don't look like J-Dubs is going, but don't look like. Doesn't look like. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, that's off the backboard. Totally fine. Got a decent clear. Galvarino is the last player, so we could expect a, a decent clear here. I don't want to go here with both my teammates being like decently low boost. I'm just hit this off the sidewall. Nice and high. And the way that I do that is make sure I hit the corner of my car. I did just take this corner boost when my teammate's low, but just securing it in case he goes backwards. Go for a shot. Might be in. Yeah, Lonely was in a pretty tough spot there and didn't really see behind the demo smoke where the shot was coming from. I don't know why I said that. The shot was already coming. I, I guess I, I guess I thought he was a little more confused. But I think you just got bumped there or something. I'm going to follow this off to the side. See how I'm hitting it around the player? I'm not going to hit it towards target there. It's not necessary. Let match player go for this. Soft backboard. See what Galvarino does. So I can turn around this. He might make a follow here. No way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess that's how the goal goes in. Um, he could have maybe made a follow up here. Luckily, like he ran out of boost though, and I just made sure to make a challenge here. The worst case scenario would have went to the right wall, which wouldn't have been bad because Victor Lee was full boost behind us. Not a bad play to go for. So I'm lucky for the blue team that it kind of bounces the way it does. Really good fake there. Good pop as well. Good cutoff from Victor. Waiting for the pass across. I'm saying pass because it's definitely not going to be one of the opponents. So I'm just waiting for the touch to come to me. I'll get behind Victor so he can be comfortable to make that challenge. That's a decent pass. I'm going to hit this towards target. A little bit of soft touch. You can see that if you hit the side of your car, it's not as powerful. Give me a shot towards target. It's off target here, though. Okay, I'm just popping it. Did a decent job of baiting that towards my teammates. I can maybe cut off my teammates to go for the touch first. Let him go for it now. I did a cut rotation there, but I'm definitely picking up the pace a little bit faster than my teammate would be. So it's not the end of the world as long as I do not get beat there. Because then we're both getting beat. Let's see if match player can go for this. I'm going to let him go for the control, get the corner boost. One's in the net. Does pop it in the middle. Only is a little bit awkward though. A little too close to the net once again. Waiting to see what Lonely does with his touch. Pops it towards me. Hit up the backboard. Galvarino's very awkward. J Dubs does get a touch though. That's off the backboard. I'm gonna wait in mid here, see if there's a pop a pop across. There is. Match player is still forward though. So I'm just gonna make sure I don't push up too much. Good try. I'm just trying to take this corner boost. I don't really want the ball yet. My teammates are going to be there. I have a shot towards target. And there we go. You see the rotation is so clean right now with, with my teammates. There's a couple times where they do linger a little bit more than I would probably like them to. But overall, like definitely good rotations. And we, both threes games, we definitely saw like players were working well with each other. So it's good to see as we move up the ranks, people are definitely rotating a little nicer. There's definitely still like some stand standout players who are making some questionable decisions and I definitely think I play a little bit too strong there seeing the 4-0 on the the goals I didn't realize I scored every single one but my teammates honestly made some good passes so if you are in those positions to make those 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 shots count you'll get the goals I hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh definitely an interesting one one loss in 2v2 and I think that was the only loss we had at the very beginning but I, I would say that overall people are playing much much cleaner you can tell the difference of, of skill of players that definitely the decision making is getting better um, but the season of this uh, road to SSL is getting a lot cleaner from all the players. Until next time, have a great day, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, yay. It's my favorite part of the day. Today, we have a uh, very cursed one, Danny Flotus. Uh, this guy looks like he just came out of the Backstreet Boys from 1990s. And then I got Danny. So let's put Danny's face on the Backstreet Boy man who's floating on a lifesaver. The classic. Let's grab Danny's head. Good enough. 
Okay, I think he's facing the wrong way. I think he, it might be more natural if he's like kind of facing that way. Man, Danny's gonna be chilling in the pool, man. Okay, let's let's get in here a little bit. Just clean it up. How does it feel to watch me work on your face, Danny? I just I'm just curious. <laughs> just just wondering. Don't know how na unnatural this is gonna look if I just remove your neck completely, but let's see. Let me like bring this up a little bit, soften it up. I think we're gonna need to. This guy doesn't have a neck, so. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, it's beautiful. Okay, let me let me um give you some some tan because this guy is buff and tan. I don't even get that color. Like we're getting there. Color overlay. Nice. Put a little too much bronzer on Danny today. Let's try like an overlay like that, and it might get a little cursed if I go into maybe uh, image and I desaturate you a little bit. So you get more of that, like less redness. And then we bring up that color overlay a little bit. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Now we are talking. I mean, that's pretty dang good. I'm happy with that. There it is, Danny Flotus.